So I've done many funerals already as a priest. Uh, and uh, most of the time, this is the gospel reading for funeral masses. Okay, and uh, because it talks about, uh, you know, uh, in my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? Okay, but here it says here, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. And it's as if that the Lord is saying this to the dead person, you know, the one who died. You know, have you believed in me in your life? Because that's the test, right? If you believe, then there will be eternal life. The Lord promised us, us, it, us to all of us. To those who believe, I will give eternal life. So it's a test. Like you know, when you die, you will come to judgment and you will know whether you'll go to heaven or not. If you go to heaven, it means you have belief. That's why in our life here on earth, we're in the school of trust. The Lord is teaching us again and again and again to believe in Him, to trust in Him. And, and, and if we see, if we're experiencing anxiety, fear, worries, doubts, those are symptoms that you are not believing in God. And the Lord will permit situations in your life so that you will learn to believe in Him. And for those who are teachers here, we have several teachers here. I think we have three teachers here in the crowd. Okay? You, you, you teach your students lessons, right? And lessons will be lessons until it is learned. And that's the same with all of us. The Lord is teaching us to believe in Him. And the Lord will permit situations in your life. And for me, I, I'm still learning too. You know, I, uh, I, I would have a tendency sometimes to worry, to be anxious. And, you know, uh, maybe uh, for some of you, you know already of what's happening in my family right now in the Philippines. My parents contracted COVID. They're in ICU right now. My brother contracted, uh, my brother and my sister-in-law both have COVID and some other uh, members in, in the household have COVID. And, and, and right now, like, you know, they're, they're sending the kids right now to my other relatives to be safe there. And uh, so there, there's a lot going on. There's, there's a lot of going on. And, and, uh, and uh, both my sisters who are here in, in, um, in North America, uh, they're keeping really in touch. And, and I told them, okay, I, I can't follow all the, the messages that you're doing there in, on Facebook, Right. You know, uh, uh, because if I'm going to follow all that, like, I will be overwhelmed, right? And uh, yes, they're my immediate family, but I have to take care of my other family too, which is you, right? I can't just, you know, focus on one family and forget the, forget the other family. And, uh, and, 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 but for those, for those who are on uh, my, my other family members, they're, they're getting overwhelmed. You know, expenses are piling up. And, and, and I told them, this is an opportunity to trust in the Lord. We need to trust in the Lord. The Lord knows what we need, and the Lord will provide. Okay? And we're praying for, for recovery. But let's say, you know, the Lord, uh, you know, decided to take my parents away. But we, we, we need to trust that if that is what the Lord's going to do, the Lord is going to get, uh, get them at the, at, the, at the time when they're most ready to go. So we have to trust. Okay, yeah, we're praying for healing. Yeah, but if the Lord will take them, we trust in Him. Sometimes when we pray, we think that, you know, we know what's best. And the Lord should answer our prayers according to what we want. But God knows best. We, we don't know, right? We, we have a narrow mind. We have a tunnel vision. We're, we're narrow-sighted. But the Lord, the Lord sees the whole picture. 
So we need to trust. So whatever, so to, to those who are viewing right now, whatever you're going through, maybe you're experiencing financial difficulty, maybe you're experiencing um, health issues, maybe you're, you're afraid of your children, you know, not practicing their faith, whatever. The Lord is permitting that situation for you to learn to trust in Him. Because it says here, right? Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Do we believe that God exists? Do we believe that God loves us unconditionally? Do we believe that God knows what's best for us? And if, it's, if that thing is the best for us, even if he needs to perform a miracle, he can do that. Do we believe? Okay? So, lessons are lessons until it is learned. And hopefully, when we die, the Lord, the Lord will be able to say to us, come, faithful servant, you have believed. 